hello everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna talk about the uh, image to video using the last honey one image model according to developers their model uh, updates uh, are now more accurate and more impressive uh, for creating video from one single image so today we will test out this new model i will show you how you can use it but we will also compare it with the, the last one 2.1 uh, model that is considered as the best model for video generation actu actually so without further ado let's get started so if you head over to comfy UI block you can see that this uh, honey one video model is natively support uh, in comfy ui this tool allows you to transform your still images into fluid and high quality video and this 13 billion parameters model is available for uh, your local gpus so this model allows you to maintain the success of quality comparable to the top closed source models which can bring the gap between the industry capabilities and the public available resource in addition to that we have uh, the LoRa compatibility since honey one models have uh, a lot of uh, LoRa models available on civet ai which can add interesting effect uh, to your video okay in order to make it work we have here uh, this workflow that is provided by honey one developers but based on that, I built my, my own workflow and we're going to see that in a minute. So in order to make it work, you just have to first to update your Comfy UI. If you are using uh, this version of Comfy UI, make sure to go to Comfy UI Manager and update Comfy UI. After that, just make sure to restart your uh, application. And if you are using the direct application of Comfy UI, try to launch the application. It will automatically ask you for uh, installing the updates. Otherwise, you can also go to the manager and click fetch updates. Make sure to restart your Comfy UI and we are good to go. After that, we need to download some couple of models in order to use this uh, image to video models. Let's first start with this clip vision named by Llama3. Make sure to download it. After that, go to this uh, hugging face link. Go to Kidjai hugging face link. And here you can see that we already have the GGUF version for these models. So for my case, I chose this Q4 version and uh, I download it here. Once everything is uh, finished, we'll make sure to copy first your GGUF model. Then go to unit folder in Comfy UI root folder and paste your model here. After that, m m do the same thing for this uh, Llama 3 vision then go for clip vision subfolder here and make sure to paste your model here okay now that we have everything just make sure to start your application and we are good to use this model okay if you go ahead and try to use the workflow provided by the comfy ui blog website you will end up with this workflow we have two major nodes starting with the honey one image to video which includes the positive prompt uh, plug the vae plug for encoding our images and also the start image where you will be able to upload your image here then this honey one image the video is gonna encode all the data and transfer it back to the basic guider then to the simpler custom advanced we also have this load clip vision which will allow you to use the llama 3 that we downloaded earlier this uh, clip vision is gonna be directly plugged into this new text encode honey one video that is dedicated for image to video and everything will be plugged here again to transfer all the necessary data starting with the prompt and uh, the image uh, data based on this workflow i was able to build a new custom workflow and you can see it here and uh, this workflow is available on my gumroad page and uh, I, I put it here for one dollar so help me out to do more video tutorial so please you can use my workflow directly will uh, help me very well uh, to do more uh, customized workflow uh, like this one so and the main uh, the main difference between this workflow and the other one provided by uh, the website is uh, you don't uh, have to do any special thing uh, only you will only do one step uh, which is the up uploading your image uploading your image here then all you have to do is to click Q prompt we also have an uh, upscaling process here, which will allow you to create high resolution video using a lower VRAM GPU. 
and the most important thing here is the t cache node that is gonna help you to increase the generation speed of your video as you can see it is 20 times faster compared to the old uh, simpler custom node those major uh, the notes and details is gonna really help you out uh, when you have to do a lot of video generation based on images but before doing that let me first show you the main uh, notes that composed my workflow let's start with this image loader here we have to upload your image for example this one then this image is gonna be upscaled to this resolution this resolution is mainly uh, related to your graphic cards you can go higher if you want and you can go lower if you run VRAM. This, um, uh, this uh, reso image resolution data is going to be transferred directly to this clip vision encode here and to this honey one image to video. As you can see, I also choose the same resolution for the, my image upscale. So you have to do the same thing uh, in order to get the consistent results. Then here we have our model and VAE loaders starting with the Honey One GGUF models and also we have the old Honey One VAE BF16 version which is gonna be used in this uh, workflow after that we have uh, our upscaler you can choose any type of upscaling model and here the most important thing for upscaling is the fact that you can uh, change this value from uh, this example here for this tutorial I am uh, selecting the number of two you can uh, increase this value according to your need. So I did not test out if I can do upscaling uh, by a factor of three or four, but you can try it out. The third group is the auto prompt text, which uh, if you are following my video, you are pretty familiar with this uh, group right here, where we have uh, the image data that comes from this first group. It is plugged here onto this Florence to run, and it's gonna help us to create the uh, necessary uh, prompt for our video then we have here our CR text replace where we need to replace uh, the, uh, the image word by video since most of uh, the prompt generated is gonna add image because we are using uh, an image in order to describe it uh, with this flaws to run it, this trick it will allow you to bypass uh, this uh, this obstacle after that this prompt is gonna be directly in, uh, plugged here into this text encode for honey one image to video along the side with this uh, clip vision encode information and uh, we uh, our dual clip loader models and finally here we have the length of our video which also is a very important parameters you can double this link by two i tried it works for me but it will need more vram and it will take you along the other group that we have here is the Tcash Honey One video sampler that I made a video tutorial about long time ago. So you can watch this video if you need more information. And this model allows you to speed up your video generation by avoiding recalculating some types. So it is very important uh, to use these notes. Once it is done, the out the noise output data is gonna be decoded here with this group. Then everything will be set, uh, sent uh, to this video combine as you can see i am choosing uh, a bad example of uh, image to video right now and it is one of the main downside using this honey one video model but we will talk about this uh, later once it is done this data is also transferred here to the first pass for upscaling where we're gonna upscale our image then where we're gonna prepare our image for the upscaling uh, process after that the final upscaling uh, the second pass for upscaling is gonna be uh, set here and we have our uh, high resolution video saved with this video combined so as i said to you earlier you don't uh, necessarily need to bother yourself with uh, every details all all you need to focus on is the, to load your image select the desired resolution the length of your video here and also the upscaling factor for your final results you can also include the fast bypasser group and you, you can choose to bypass the upscaling process once you are satisfied with your results you can enable this upscaling process in order to get the, the amazing results that you want okay
okay we have here our first result using this honey one image to video model and as you can see it uh, succeeded to create this consistent animation without any distortion you can also see that there is some fire in the behind this lady and you can notice the wind effect uh, on her hair okay the second example is this uh, lady here the cyber lady here that turns around and smile you can also see that this model uh, was able to generate movement for the car behind the lady and also the walking passenger here which is very good another example of this honey one image video where i when i add the uh, movement to the prompt section and i specified that this lady must drop its sword and it was uh, not uh, very successful according to this movement animation results well, another uh, image video that i was trying to create is this astronaut playing the violin and as you can see this model uh, did not follow my prompt and uh, try to improvise the animation according to this uh, input image the same thing goes for this uh, image over here where i uh, asked for a rising hand with magical effect however the the prompt uh, adherence was not uh, clearly uh, respected here which is the main difference between this honey one image to video model and uh, the one 2.1 that we saw earlier where we have a better prompt uh, adherence compared to this model which bring us to the verdict of this model where we can clearly see that the prompt adherence is not the necessary main uh, strong point of this uh, honey one image to video however we was able to generate consistent animation without any distortion compared to the previous model that we have it is very good but uh, unfortunately for a honey one developer we have the one 2.1 model that has a, a more important prompt adherence a high quality video generation but the main downside of the one model is that it is taking too much time to generate a video even if it is worth it for this honey one video i was able to generate those video with my six gigabyte of vram in uh, average time of 15 and 20 minutes which include the upscaling process however for uh, the one uh, 2.1 it it took uh, practically an hour to generate uh, the same uh, length of video and at the same resolution so you can say that this honey one video model is uh, more faster compared to one 2.1 in addition to that the honey one model have a lot of flora that can be added here i did not uh, personally add a lora model here you can do so by just adding uh, by just adding this node here flora model only and you can add any type of flora that you want uh, for uh, your honey one video model which will help you to create some special effect uh, to your final results so it is very simple to do that this is everything that I want to show you for this honey one video model. If you like this video tutorial, please push the like button for me. Leave me some comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to watch my other video tutorial. Next time we will be talking about this new model for LTX video. And we will test out this model together. So stay tuned for, uh, for the next tutorial. And thank you.